Hey everybody, back here with uh, Renee Ziemer from the Mayo Clinic Archives. I'm Axel Gumbel with another installment of Heritage Highlights. And uh, Renee, we are in the uh, boardroom here in the historical suite on Plumber 3. Tell us about this uh, magnificent uh, space. Right. Uh, the boardroom was used up until 1955 when the Mayo uh, building across the street was opened and the board moved over there. But it um, opened in 1928 and the board um, convened its important meetings here up until 1955. On the wall are honors and awards from Dr. Will and Dr. Charlie from all over the world. They traveled extensively to learn from others and bring back best practices. And we thought for today's segment we'll bring out a special item that you can't ordinarily see because it comes from deep in your archives, Renee. Correct. Uh, here in front of us we have uh, uh, a model of a very familiar a thing, let's say, that people might see in the hospital setting. Tell us, uh, tell us about this. Yes, this is a radial unit, or sometimes referred to as a circular unit. And many people do not realize that this was created um, in 1957. Um, and it was researched to see if this would be the next innovative care for our patients to provide them uh, with really virtual um, 360 um, eyes on them at all times. And who, who developed the original idea? Yeah, Harold Mickey, actually. He was the hospital administrator at the time, and he was looking at what is the best practices, not just for current day, but for future. Um, he was um, an innovator, definitely, and um, the circular unit was really his brainchild. And so um, they studied it and researched it until 1963. We almost don't need to ask what the results are because now you see this sort of setting almost everywhere in hospitals. Correct. Um, the findings of the study really showed that it was beneficial for our patients and our nursing staff. And um, it brought a security to our patients because they could see the nursing staff in the center of the radial unit. And um, the nurses had direct you know, eye contact with each of the rooms, so it was beneficial for them. And in addition, um, it saved a lot of steps, and so they could quickly get to the patients who might have needed their assistance. Once more, Mayo Clinic leading the way with, uh, with, a, with an interesting uh, invention here. Correct. Very well, Renee. Well, again, uh, this is something you cannot see anywhere, really, right? This, uh, Renee, we're thankful uh, for you uh, bringing that here today. Yeah. Uh, but, of course, the historical suite is available for tours to patients and staff. Mm -hmm. uh, it is, uh, how can people access it? Yes, if you come through the subway level, you can access it by coming to the Plumber Building, coming up to the third floor and entering the historical suite and members of the public can also uh, take a virtual tour mm -hmm. of this space. And that is uh, posted on our Mayo Clinic History and Heritage website. That is at history.mayoclinic.org. Renee, thanks so much for uh, joining us today. This yeah. was fun to learn some, uh, some facts and, and items yeah. that we have not seen before. And uh, thanks for joining us. You're welcome. Thanks, Axel. And thanks for watching.